Hi, this is Noyam Kodar from Bengal College of Engineering and Technology, PC Department. This is Digital Communication Lab. Subject code is 691. Today we will perform experiment number 2. Today's experiment is pulse amplitude modulation and T modulation. So this is a pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation trainer kit. In this kit we have a modulator. So this section is modulator section. Now here we need two inputs. One is data input or message signal input and other is carrier signal input. A is audio frequency input. So here we have a audio frequency generator. So if we look at this section, so this section generate message signal or it is a audio frequency signal generator and this is a synchronous clock generator which means from this section we get carrier signal. So we have to connect AF output to AF input and synchronous clock output to synchronous clock input to the modulator. So first to see the message and carrier signal we just connect our channel 1 and channel 2 of TSO to message and carrier signal respectively. So first I connect my message signal to channel 1 and then I connect the carrier signal here to channel 2. I have to connect one ground also. So just connect this ground of any probe to the ground term. So I am connecting here the ground term. So now if we look at the DSO we will see at channel 1 we get message signal and at channel 2 we get our carrier signal. So first switch on the kit. So now I am switching to DSO so that you can see both the signals. So at DSO you can see at channel 1 we have message signal and at channel 2 we have carrier signal. So message signal is a sinusoidal signal and carrier signal is a clock pulse. So if you want to change the time part division so that you can see the carrier signal properly. Okay. So now you can see very clearly that carrier signal is a clock pulse and message signal is a sinusoidal signal. So now back to our trainer kit again. As we have seen the message and carrier signal. As we have seen our message and carrier signal. So now we just fed that message and carrier signal to the modulator. So just connect this message signal input here so that we can get the message signal, message signal connected to the uh, modulator and I am connecting carrier signal with another patch cord 
to the modulator. Okay. So message signal and carrier signal both are connected to the modulator. Now at the output of the modulator we are supposed to get the modulated PAM signal. So I am connecting my channel 2 to sampled output terminal of our modulator. As you can see we have connected the message signal and carrier signal to the modulator and connect at the sample output to our channel 2 of DSO. Now change this switch to natural sampling so that we get natural sampling output. So I am switching to DSO so that to get the natural sampling output. I just uh, stop the signal. So this is your natural sample output. You see the top of the output signal is not flat and it is exactly same like the message signal. Now if you want to see the flat top output we just come to the trainer kit and change it to sample and hold then change this output patch cord to flat top output now if you look at DSO you can see the output is flat top output so both are PAM signal one is natural sampling and this one is flat top output. So this is our pulse amplitude modulation. Now if we come to the demodulation part. As you can see that I am connecting this patch cord to sampled output to this sampled signal input to the demodulator. Now change this knob switch to natural sampling and I have connected this channel 2 of TSO to the demodulated output. So at channel 1 we are supposed to get the message signal which is already connected and at channel 2 we are supposed to get the demodulated output which is the message signal again. So I am switching to DSO. Now when I just change the time part division you can see at I am stopping this signal. So at channel 1 we have a message signal and at channel 2 we have a demodulated output which is the message signal. So the demodulation is done. The experiment pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation is completed. Thank you.